Welcome to this new video from the ASA Art 3D website. This time, we will see together the specificities of the Sky Texture node with initial model and cycles. The Sky Texture node allows you to manage the mood lighting from the shading editor or from the world menu. Nishida mode allows you to manage the light environment without the need to use a sun lamp. The scene represented is made up of two pictures representing landscapes. The sky in the photo containing trees has been replaced with an alpha texture. The spaceship takes off from a platform at sea level to go into space. To reduce video time, the spacecraft rises to a limited height. The proper use of cameras simulates a continuous ascent into space. The use of sky texture thus gives the illusion of leaving the atmosphere. For information, it is possible to display a photo without the invisible part by linking the alpha node of the texture with the alpha node of the shader as shown on the screen. The sky texture is used from the shading editor or from the world menu. This field allows you to select three types of model of the light environment, the Pretham, the Hosek, Wilkie, the Nishida. This is the Nishida model we will be using in this video. This option displays a luminous disk corresponding to the sun. This disk is independent of the sun object. Note that the sun lamp is not useful for lighting the scene. This field defines the size of the luminous disk representing the sun. To see the effect, the sun disk option must of course be enabled. This field is used to define the light intensity of the disk representing the sun. With a value of zero you have a nice black hole. With a higher value the luminous disk shines with a thousand lights. This field is used to define the height of the sun. The sun's rotation with respect to the hour can generally be defined according to the table below. Note that 12 hours corresponds to 0 degrees on the x-axis. We must therefore visualize the position of the sun in relation to a sundial rather than a protractor. This field is used to define the altitude in relation to the center of the world. This field determines the amount of air present in the scene. The absence of air gives a black sky. A weak value gives a blue sky. The more light rays pass through a large layer of air, the redder the brightness becomes. This is what happens at sunset. This field determines the amount of dust and moisture in the air. The greater the value of the field, the greater the filter simulating dust. This field determines the ozone level in the sky. The higher the value, the higher the saturation. Now you know all the parameters to properly configure your scene and obtain a similar result. Enjoy it! Are you interested in other Blender videos? Do not hesitate to consult my channel or my website. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.